the $10,000 workstation for VFX and video editing. What do you really need? Let's find out. Dell was so kind to send over the Dell Precision Tower 5820. And this is what it looks like. It doesn't look like it has all that power and all that value within its case, but I like to call it the sleeper. All right, so first I'm going over what's inside this PC, what makes it so valuable, and why the heck would anyone choose to spend so much money on a computer? So the Dell Precision Tower is completely configurable to your desires and needs. So in my Dell Precision Tower, I currently have an Intel Xeon W 2255 CPU at 3.7 Hertz. Then I have 128 gigabytes of RAM. I have a one terabyte SSD, and I have the Nvidia Quadro RTX 6000 and oh boy that's a graphics card that everyone can dream of. Nvidia Quadro RTX 6000. There is actually a huge difference between a custom built PC and a workstation made by a provider like Dell. It's just more reliable, it's more stable and you don't have all these crashes because everything is tailored to work together perfectly with each other. You might achieve the same result with a custom built one. My previous computer was also custom built and it was also a crazy computer but it kept crashing like literally all the time. All right, so now that you know what's inside, let's go over each individual compartment and see why you actually need it. For example, for After Effects or for VFX and video editing in general. All right, so your GPU is also very important for accelerating certain effects and also your render speed. So basically rendering is a combination of your CPU and your GPU. For CPU, I would invest in a decent setup, of course, if you're doing this professionally, somewhere around eight or more cores, and then just make sure that your individual cores are fast enough, so 3.6 or higher. For the graphics cards, Nvidia works really well with Adobe After Effects um, because they have the CUDA driver support. Uh, so I'm using the Nvidia RTX 6000. And the benefit of this card is that it has 24 gigabytes of VRAM in the graphics card. So it can store a lot of information. It's also much more reliable than the RTX 2080 Ti. That card can get full rather quickly and can crush a little bit faster, even though they are similar in speeds. Basically, the 20 ADTI was invented for as a gaming card to play all the best games and not for video editing necessarily and the Quadro has been made for very professional work. And then it comes to the RAM. The RAM is also very important. I used to work with 16 gigabytes back in the time which is the absolute minimum when you start video editing and especially if you go towards visual effects, motion graphics, a lot more is advised. Then you can upgrade to 32, 64 is even better but the better option would be 128 like I have right now. Not everyone actually needs it. So when I was using 64 gigabytes of RAM, which is already insanely a lot, I was always at the max RAM. And now I can see that I'm not really maxing out my RAM, which is a great feeling because I kind of feel like I can't really speed it up a lot more than I'm already at. So I'm not losing valuable time in order to complete my work. So the more RAM you have, the more you can do at the same time. So I have Premiere Pro open, After Effects open, I switch between the software, go into Photoshop, I have plenty of tabs in Chrome for reference and things that I'm working on and I can do all of these things while also doing a huge preview render in Adobe After Effects. And just to show you the big difference between the Precision Tower and a other computer with a 1080 uh, Ti here in the office, we're just going to compare two renders with a benchmark. Just put them to the test against this computer. So just install the software, let it run, see how much time it took and compare it with this computer and you will see how fast uh, your computer or laptop is and then really see the benefit of, of this one. All right, so that brings us to the last important piece of a computer and while working on, on projects is to have an SSD card or an NVMe. So what do these drives do? Basically, the speed of the drive is also very important, especially for your software to read and write uh, from your software. So if you have Premiere Pro on a regular HDD, it's going to work a lot slower than if you would install it on an SSD or NVMe. Then also your project files, basically when you bring in a video file in Adobe Premiere Pro, let's 
say you're reading that file and you're editing on the go and it's always looking at that drive. So it's also interesting to put your footage on an SSD and that's where the one terabyte SSD comes in very handy. I put all my project files on the SSD while I work on them and once I'm done with a project I will move them to an HDD to store them because that's a lot cheaper for storage. So basically to sum it up, obviously the more you have of something the better it will perform but also something that completely changed my mind before I got this computer Computer, a workstation that is pre-built is just way more stable than a computer that isn't. All right, so be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to stay notified when I upload new videos. And apart from that, I hope to see you in the next one. And until next time, create epic videos.